and welcome to an episode of Great Moments in FIFA History. I'm your host, Zwenil Attenborough, and today we have to go back 69 years. <laughs> what is 69? To one of the greatest discoveries in FIFA history. <laughs> He's fucking Is that a rare finch? You came up! No! Beaker! <laughs> I think I've spotted Iceland! I don't be ya! Wait, never mind, it's just a sinking peacock. Hansen? Actual. What's up, big boys, and welcome to the annual Full Icelandic Squad Foot Champions Challenge Episodia featuring none other than 84 rated upgraded hero Hilfi Sigurdsson. Now, if you guys have been living under a rock, you won't know that Iceland, for the first time in their history, have qualified as the smallest nation, a nation of 340,000 people, have managed to qualify for the World Cup. Just an incredible, incredible achievement if you consider the likes of Trinidad and Tobago. Now, here's a little interesting tie-in. Trinidad and Tobago is the second smallest nation to ever qualify for the World Cup with 1.4 million as their population. Trinidad and Tobago last night, and if you guys are living in the US like I am, you would have known that last night the US failed to qualify for the World Cup uh, because of a loss, a 2-1 loss. All they needed was a draw, a 2-1 loss to Trinidad and Tobago. No disrespect to Trinidad and Tobago, but that's a game the US needs to win. There were many games that the US should have won, a nation of almost 450 million people. And just the US, the money pumped in, just I don't understand how the United States has not qualified for the World Cup! Ah! I would suggest Germany as the first nation to support, and if you don't want to support them, go and support Iceland, a really, really fun footballing nation. Again, 340,000 is their population, but we are going to be featuring Hero Yulfi Sigurdsson, who I bought his one to watch for 70,000 coins, sold it this morning for 117,000 as soon as it was announced, and then bought this uh, version for 73,000, so we made a profit of just over, uh, just over 50,000 coins, which is pretty nice. Wish it, wish it was on the Road to Glory account, but we are on the main. Now, the full Iceland side has changed a bit from last year. We've got this guy, Diego Johansson, actually a half Spanish, half Icelandic player who played for Real Oviedo. Born, I believe, in Spain, has an Icelandic mother uh, and decided, because he loves this, uh, the Iceland national team, he decided to play for them. Again, you don't often see the name Diego and then a Johansson uh, as the second part of the name. But anyway, 81 pace. We've got Arneson, one of the uh, legends from the Icelandic side, who was a big contributor for their win. I believe he scored the goal that was assisted by Yilfi Sigurdsson. Yilfi got it for a goal and an assist in that match uh, versus Kosovo, I believe, which sent them through. We've got ourselves Sigurdsson, we've got Skullison, got plus four upgrade, even though he's a 30 plus, uh, 30 year old plus player. We've got Beaker Bjarnason, the hero of the Euros, uh, has got himself a beard upgrade. We've got um, we've got Gunnarsson, Aaron Gunnarsson, aka Net Gunnarsson. What's up, guys? The here. Uh, and then we've got ourselves Hal Fredson as our main gold center mid. Only have three gold player. Oh, sorry, four gold players, including Yilfi in the squad. We've got Finn Bogason, and then this guy Sigurdarsson, who got an upgrade from a 68 overall, I believe, silver card last year. Has some actually pretty decent stats: 79, uh, 79 sprint speed, 70 finishing, which is not great, but that 90 stamina and 85, uh, 85 strength. And then we've got our boy here who I think will bang most of our goals next to Yofi. 73 stamina, 75 strength, and then that nice 80 finishing. Have a Haka and Hunter attached to them. But anyway, we've got a Marson, a.k.a. Legolas. I don't know. Omarsson's player face from last year is one of the biggest upgrades or one of the biggest downgrades depending how you look at it. I think it's an upgrade. I wish I could grow a beard like that. We have our full Iceland side ready to try and qualify uh, for foot champs with our full Iceland side. Again, gonna have one attempt. We're not gonna do any more than one attempt. We're gonna see how far we can actually go. If you guys do enjoy the epi, if you guys are rooting for Iceland, or if your nation qualified, smash that like button. Let's try and crush 5,000 likes. As well, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Instagram and Twitter links are there if you wanna interact with me there. But let's not delay things any further. Let's get into match number one, Iceland. How do you say let's go in Iceland? Let's get Crazy, crazy looking side, but we came up against some crazy sides last year. Managed to qualify with a full We're Iceland. sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. And it's not going to get any easier. He's got Willian Firmino, um, Coutinho, the Brazilian Premier League trio up top. And you know what? A beatable side, I think. Um, Alonso Bayerino are going to be tough to beat, especially uh, he's got that... Um, um, Sanderson, Sanchez, the center back. It's going to be very tough to beat, especially with my strikers. But you guys remember how emotional it was last year. Let's see if we can do it for the second year in a row. Alfredson! Oh, let's go! What a slide tackle! 
from Halfreidson. The Icelandic mannequin challenge. Let's go, boys. When you cringe. Come on. 22 minutes in, we are up. He can bring it back at any time, though. Don't get it twisted. This side, defensively, is not the greatest. But what a finish. <laughs> Oof, the Icelandic slide tackle. That's it. Gilfi! He got so close to putting us up 2-0. Could easily be 2-1-3-1 him right now. How Freitzen, oh, look how, he, look how even the match is right there. 45% possession, have to work a little bit better than that. Dude, I'm literally eating hair out of this wig right now. Sigurdsson! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, boys! 2-0, 50th minute! Oh, now the problem with a side like this is, like I said after the first goal, anything can happen. You can concede at any freaking moment. But Guilty Sigurdsson puts us up. He's not going to miss that. His hero card, so far, stepping up big time. The full Iceland side is, I'm not going to say we have a comfortable lead, but we're feeling pretty good. When I think of moist, I think of the inside of a dying whale. That was too easy. That was way too easy, boys. When I think of the moist, I think of a sweaty sack on a humid day. When I think of the moist, I think of you and sticky camel toes, too. We have to try one more time. We can't go out in the first round. Who missed that? Oh my god, okay. At least he's got two silvers in the at least he's got two silvers in the squad. He's got Lone Hazard, Lone Lacazette, Lone De Gea. Oh wow, okay. I still can't believe that first match. The first match is why you don't ever get confident in, in a lead. Ever. You heard me say it. I was way too confident in the fact that we had a 2-0 lead. Gilfie! De Gea's up to the task. If there's a keeper in the game that's up to keeping out a Yuffie Sigurdsson distance blast, it's gonna be De Gea. Oh, let's go! I can't tell which Sigurdsson that is. I, do we have more than one? I think one of our strikers is, is Sigurdsson, but that is, I believe, Yuffie! Come on, the outside the box for Nessie. And we're up 1-0. Let's not, we're not collapsing like we did in the first match in, in that first attempt. No chance. Yofi Sigurdsson with the finesse of dreams. Get in. But I honestly cannot wait for it to get here. I can't wait for a game mode, possibly a 2018 World Cup game mode, which would be absolutely insane. But um, I'm, feel, I'm, feeling the, I'm feeling the World Cup magic all the way here, and we're not even in the new year yet. But uh, absolutely can't wait for the competition. Sigurd Arson. Oh, referee, that's a pen. Come on. Garbjarnason, B. Garbjarnason does not admit that, let go! We have to, hold on, we have to find out how to say let's go. How do you say let's go in Icelandic? Google Maps doesn't even have the thing. Let us go. Finn Bogason, what a finish! Of course he's gonna finish that! He's gonna finish that even though he's from Iceland. Eight shots, five on target, 47% possession. Unlike the last game, he was creating a bunch of chances. This guy is not, so I'm feeling a little bit more confident. Again, don't want to get ahead of myself, but uh, come on, match, come on, let's, let's, score, let's score a Hattie with Siggy. Oh, he's gonna rage quit. Cameron Raider 02 is going to rage quit, boys. One pound fish, the full Iceland side. 
Victory in match number one. He's gonna pop back into the tournament. Sigurd Arsson doesn't get a goal, but Gilfie Sigurdsson, one away from the Hattie. Finn Bogason kicks in with one, and then Beaker Bjarnason, obviously, uh, obviously with that pen goal. Let's get into match number two. Let's see if we can get this Icelandic smite magic. Let's see if we can keep it going. <laughs> Smite magic? I can't do this. I, I can't do it. I want to believe, but I. How do you. How? How? <laughs> It's going to extra time. 12 shots, 11 on target for him. 11 shots, 5 on target for me. We still have a lot of energy on our sides. Fortunately, that's one of the pluses of having Icelandic strikers is their stamina is very, very good. Sigurd Arsen, you're coming off. Hansen, you're coming in, bro. Premier League, uh, Premier League squad. I think it'd be a really, really solid RCM or an LCM. Uh, more, more like an R RCM because he doesn't have the four-star weak foot as three-star, three-star. But Yelfi Sigurdsson, one of the lone bright spots in the game. Uh, this guy right here, uh, Sigurd Darson, has been very solid for me as well. Pretty much the keeper, he, Hal Dorson did not hold any doors. In fact, that's probably all he was doing. He was just holding a door, opening it, and letting goals flood in. Like a Icelandic fjord. That's gonna be the episode, boys. If you're from Iceland, congratulations for qualifying. If you're from any other nation that qualified, congratulations. And if you didn't qualify, it's not the end of the world. We have Euros coming up in two, uh, in two years if you're from a European nation, obviously. And then we've got the World Cup. Uh, I mean, it would kind of suck not to have your nation qualify because it is gonna be not just four years, but it'll be eight years till the next World Cup. Or sorry, four years. Wow, I can't even do math. Four years until the next World Cup after this one. But anyway, boys, if you guys, but anyway, boys, if you guys did enjoy the epi, smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Cheers. Later. Adieu.